Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the Lord come and bless you even today. As you enjoy this series of sermon called Breakthrough Series Sermon, I believe God will richly touch you and hear you out because I'm going to touch the third portion, dwelling in His presence. Why dwell in His presence? And I think as we begin to explore and learn together, and I want you to also participate in worshipping and thanking the Lord, dwelling and seeing great result in your life. I've seen many who are suffering, many who have gone through series of difficulty. When they run to the presence of the Lord, God will see them through and God We'll see how they begin to dwell in the presence and the presence of God heal them, minister to them and transform their life. Even today, as you begin to learn to understand the ways of God, God is going to segregate you, separate you, call you out so that we can have the wisdom of God to dwell in the presence of the Lord. So today, as we learn part three, let's see what God is going to speak to us even today as we learn together. You see, there is a place of cultivating. Cultivating to be in the presence of the Lord. What is cultivation? Another word for cultivation is you must have discipline to come into the presence of God. You must really put yourself, it says, no matter what happens, I'm going to set my day. I'm going to set my time. I'm going to cultivate my habits. I'm going to cultivate my lifestyle to come and dwell in the presence of God. And it's a regular attitude that God is going to bring forth in that manner, you will come into the presence of God. And I believe this is only the work of the Holy Spirit. As you give in more and more to the Holy Spirit, you will see God's presence. Dwelling in His presence will become a rich experience in your life. A rich experience. So today, as we learn about two important words, cultivation. Cultivating the right attitude cultivating the right habits. So when you begin to cultivate these two things, you will see yourself walking into the very presence of God. And then you will see you will dwell in the presence of God like never before. So I'm going to touch another area of the scripture in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 28. So we tell others about Christ warning everyone teaching everyone with all the wisdom God has given us. It's not only we witness to somebody else. It's not just warning other people. There are so many people warn other people, but they themselves disqualify because they are not doing so. So that's why there is a place of cultivation and also cultivating your attitude. So it's easy to talk, but there is another place to discipline cultivate, manage, and to have good uh, attitude in order for others to learn from us to see what God could do. Come, let's all dwell in the presence of God and let's cultivate this. Not only just warning others, but many times we tell others, we warn others, but we disqualify ourselves. Now here he says, so we tell others about Christ. Warning everyone, teaching everyone with all wisdom, God has given us. We want to present them to God, perfect in all relationship to Christ. So the end of the whole thing, dwelling in the presence is, you know, we must present ourselves to Christ in the right relationship with Christ, filled with the wisdom of God. So wisdom can only come through the word of God. 
And as we tell others, I think that is one area now we really need to tell others, you need to gather people. That is where it's so important. It's not just preaching the gospel. We must be gatherers of the people into the very presence of God so that they can also experience the tangible power, the presence, the healing, with all the wisdom that God has given unto us, we can minister to people. So I pray that that way we can present ourselves perfect to God, with the right relationship with God. So then our dwelling will become pleasant. Our dwelling you know, in the presence of God will become rich. Our dwelling in the presence of God will become a meaningful encounter that we can say, I have an encounter with God and God bless me, transform me, heal me, protect me and provide for me. Even today, my friends, let the Lord minister to you. Let the Lord touch you. Let's gather the people together. I, I need you to rally the people together and say, let's go to the house of the Lord. Let's gather together to worship God, to pray and to seek the face of God. Then God richly will bless you. Can you impact others? I know God has impacted you. Can you impact others? Can you lead others? Can you train others? Can you build others to come and dwell in the presence of God? Today, let the Lord bless you. Let this word richly minister to you. Let this word open up the windows of heaven and God to pour his blessing, joy and peace to overflow in your life and be blessed of God. In Jesus' name we ask and we pray. Amen.